Brilliant. And then finally, Melody, is there any um, is there any um, gene or cell based therapies currently being developed or that you're aware of that are quite exciting or anything that you yeah that you're working on or anything that's interesting? Um, well, I yeah. Well, for sure sorry for i was just like yes something springs to mind immediately um so one of the things um when you look back at car t cell therapies uh at the moment you have to take the patient's own t cells um you modify them and put them back so it's an expensive treatment it does work though for the for a lot of the people that receive them but there are a lot of um side effects um, potential side effects attached to the treatment. So you have next generation, which actually use CRISPR uh, as well uh, in order to be more efficient in vivo. That's what I find. So the next generation CAR T cells, I find extremely exciting. Um, and also to start looking. So currently CAR T cells are um, against bloodborne um, cancer. Um, and that, we haven't gone through the solid cancers yet. So the two more growing cancers. And that is frankly, because a lot of the time the cells are not able to really penetrate that, that type of solid. Um, but there is progress on that front. Um, secondly, um, the next thing that I find very exciting about CAR T cells uh, is actually that they're taking the T out and they're starting to use um, natural killer cells or macrophages by using them in manipulating them genetically and putting them back into the patient, making them more efficient. So you have the CAR NK cells, the CAR M cells. So there is, you know, a basically, lot of- you could basically manipulate the whole immune system yes. to attack a, yeah. a cancer or, or a disease of some sort. Exactly. So that's exciting. Then the last stream that I find extremely exciting is that people are trying to make a CAR T cell off the shelf. And that means that they are stripping them uh, to be seen as a foreign T cell in any other human. Um, so there is also um, streams now on developments uh, that you can have an allogeneic CAR T cell treatment, which means you can take one CAR T cell and administer to administer it to multiple patients. Um, that will also reduce costs and make it a more uh, quality process and more controllable as well yeah that would be that would that and yeah just known from knowing what i know about cell-based therapies and gene therapies that would be um like you said earlier the holy grail wouldn't it of, uh, <laughs> of developing them um you know, basically on mass yeah uh, and making yeah that would be great and yeah it lowers costs at the end of the day doesn't it then for the patients yeah and, and more convenience they don't have to go through the whole having their, you know, immune cells harvested um, and, and that kind yeah. of stuff. So it, I think in terms of patient compliance, uh, that would also be a huge uh, progress improvement if we could just give them one of these CAR T cells off the shelf, for example, 